Eye Level Results Day is just around the corner and today we're going to break down everything you need to know about the timings of the day. So buckle in and let's get started. Now of course we're going to be helping you out right up until Results Day and beyond so don't forget to give us a follow and check our socials for other questions that may be answered for you too in the run up. Now first things first we all know when Results Day is by now I hope. But just to confirm, it's 15th of August, which is a Thursday. You'll have had a lovely summer, I hope, getting a well-deserved break, even maybe going away with your mates. Maybe you've been gaining some work experience. Hopefully you've made it exactly what you wanted it to be. Now that we're in August, though, you'll definitely want to start planning ahead for Results Day and getting an idea of how the process works. Now, this is your public service announcement not to leave it until the day. So firstly, on the day, there are two crucial bits of information you'll be accessing. First, your A-level grades from your sixth form or college. And second, whether you've been accepted onto your course at university or your job placement. This, for the most part, will be found on UCAS Hub. So you can, of course, see that these two pieces of information are linked, but they come from different sources. You can't get your grades from UCAS and you can't get information on your offers from your education provider. Annoying, but it's important for you to know. So on to timings then, I have a feeling you might be awake very early on the 15th anyway, but I really hope you manage to get some sleep. Results are usually available to you from around 8am at your college or sick form and you can check on their socials or contact them to confirm this of course. And then there's UCAS Hub. This is where you'll find out if you've been accepted into your chosen university or job placement. And again, this will open and begin to update around 8, but, and I'm sorry to be the one to break this to you, please don't expect to be able to see it at 8 on the dot. It will be super busy, so be prepared to hit the refresh button over and over again. Remember, even if UCAS Hub updates before you have your grades in hand, these are separate pieces of information that together determine your next steps. And of course, it's totally up to you which way around you want to get these bits of information. Some of you might want to know about the places first. Some of you might want to know about your grades first. There are benefits to both, absolutely, and it's completely up to you. Now, overall, I just wanted to give you a little checklist to summarise. So number one is login details. Make sure you have your login information handy the night before for UCAS Hub. It's just going to make it easier when you're kind of nervous and freaking out in the morning. Number two, school opening times. Double check what time your school opens if you're going in person. And then number three, plan your day. Have a plan for what you'll do after you get your results, whether it's how you'll be celebrating, contacting other unis ready for clearing. So for example, having phone numbers ready, or seeking guidance from your teachers. Once you've got your results and checked UCAS Hub, it's all about the next steps. If you meet or exceed expected grades and your offer is confirmed, congratulations. Time to celebrate and get ready for the next chapter. If things didn't go as planned, don't worry. There are plenty of options available like clearing gap years or even exploring different pathways. Remember, your A-level results and university offers are significant milestones, but they don't define your worth or limit your potential. Whether you're celebrating or recalibrating, stay positive and keep your eyes on your goals. So good luck to all of you awaiting your results. You've worked incredibly hard and no matter what, you've achieved something amazing by even getting to this point. Stay positive, stay focused and we'll see you over the next few days offering tips, advice and support. Now don't forget to like, follow and share and keep checking back for more support.